So you wanted to run meta ads in a very easy way. The very first thing I wanted to do to get started here, I'm gonna show you the strategies to running successful Facebook ad campaigns. So first of all, what you wanted to do is to go directly here into the meta uh, ads. Now here, what you wanted to do is to get started with the growing with the meta ads, going for get started. It's gonna be asking you to have a business asset account and having an actual business account in order to continue. If you don't have one, it's gonna be really hard to get started with. So guys, what I wanted to do now that I'm inside here is to go directly into creating a new campaign. Now, really and really important, define your objective. Before launching your Facebook ad campaign, it is crucial to clearly define your objectives. Whether it's driving website traffic, generating leads, or increasing sales, having clear goals will guide your campaign strategy. So now that you have defined your objects, let's just get started with the actual very first part of my section, which is create an actual ad section. So I choose my objective, assuming that I wanted to engage to get more messages, more video views to my post engagement, page like, or event responses. So choose the best that suits for your needs and go for continue. Let's go here for traffic and go for continue. Now, usually you can see it, uh, a campaign setup. So we can use the recommendation setup to maximize performance or manually build your campaign. So if I choose a recommended setting, it's gonna be helping us to add preset settings including the Advantage Plus, Audience, Advantage Playments, and so much more. So I'm gonna go for Continue. And inside here, what you want to do is to get started with creating the name of your campaign name. Now in my case, let's say for example, that I wanna drive some sales inside Shopify. So sales into Shopify 101. Now I have here the A-B test. I'm gonna just leave this like that and go for next. Here, this is the part what you wanted to get started with an ad setting, because this is the actual setting of the campaign. Let's go for the ad set. In this case, what I wanted to do is to create my very first ad set, because here I wanted to focus into TikTok videos, or let's say 916 uh, video formats. So here, I wanted to send people directly into my website. Currently, the estimate audience that's gonna be checking out our videos are up to 97 million people and reached estimated daily results of 13,265 clicks per link minimum. But I'm gonna scroll a little bit down and you can see that you can change your daily budget. For example, let's say that I'm only gonna be spending $2 per day. So that means that the reach is gonna be sending to 2,053 uh, click links, depending on what I actually chose. Now, if I scroll a little bit more down, I go for more. And here I choose minimum ages. The minimum age in my case is 18. And in location, I'm gonna just focus not only into Mexico, I'm gonna go for something, let's say all North America. So we're gonna go for North America, choose the whole region of North America. And you can see that here it is. You can choose a specific country, for example, all Central America and all North America. And you can see that now the estimate audience has now grown so much. And it's gonna be much more important for that. Now the compelling ad creative. You can create eye-catching and creative ads resonating with your target audience. So here, what I wanted to do is to, of course, look out for next. And this is the part where I wanted to check out the traffic ad. So here the ad name, you can name the ad, for example, here, I'm gonna name uh, something easy for the title. In this case, let's say, for example, product. And here I have the identity. Once again, it's gonna be asking you for a Facebook page and an Instagram account, if you wanted to advertise this into Instagram as well. In this case, I'm gonna focus only into Facebook. Now it's gonna be asking you for an actual media. So I'm gonna be adding a, a few images here into my section here, so I'm gonna choose my product, I have the recommendation of the stories, write column search results, and the crop, and the next. What I can totally suggest to you is that when it comes to creating ads into Facebook, you wanted to get started by adding more than just images. You wanted to add videos, you wanted to add like a description, you wanted to check out, you wanted to tell people how the actual product actually looks when it comes to getting started with your actual video. So let's go here and choosing an image here. Uh, once again, it shows just you a bit, but that is totally up to you. Now here we have a primary text. For example, let's say the best product ever. You don't want it to add that kind of text, but this is just an example. You have here the headline and you have generated variation. So you can add all the elements if you wanted to. 
and later on you have the headline, the description and the call to action. In this case, I'm going to focus into uh, order now or buy now. So in this case, it says order now. Appetize creator, I'm going to just leave this like that. And here I'm going to add the destination. I want to send people directly into my store. After that, I'm going to go and scroll a little bit down and choose the language. In this case, I'm going to just leave this like that. If you wanted to track more elements, then you're actually good to go. And lastly, once you finish all these actual elements, let's go into published. Here, what you wanted to do is to just continually monitor your ad performance using Facebook ad managers and make sure that everything has now been successfully done. You can go here inside your product and make sure that your actual campaign has now been set it up. You can go into the view chart so you can monitor the use of the Facebook ads marketing, analyze the keys, metrics such as click-through rate, conversion rate, and return an ad span to identify areas of improvement. For example, let's say that nobody wanted to click into the product that come here from $18. So check out the performance of your, view of your product. Check out how many people check out your videos from what age to what age, and then you can refine your ad creatives, the targeting and the message, and so much more. And well guys, congratulations because you have now set up your very first ad directly into Meta Ads. So if you wanted to see a specific tutorial here into Meta Ads and a specific section into Meta Ads, please let us know into the comments below so we can show you exactly how it actually works, the actual Facebook Ads Manager. This, this is an actual video, like an easy way how we can get started. We have a strong tutorial so we can help you to get started here with Meta Ads. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more digital marketing insight. Thank you once again for watching the video guys and hopefully we can all see you next time. Happy advertising.